Hey guys, Jacob here. This is a new build video for 1.8.3 for The Division. This is going to be my stability alpha bridge build. I'll get right into it so there's no bullshit and show you guys the gear I'm using. I'm using two lightweight M4s, not the house or the MP7. I'm using these two mostly for the stability and range. Um, it, SMGs are a little bit easier at close quarter combat and you should be able to shred through people with a crit chance on them, but I'm using this mostly to be able to hit people at range. I'll go right into it. The weapons I'm using are two lightweights. This one has a pro red dot sight extended mag with crit hit damage on it, not crit hit chance. Uh, you could all crit hit chance, but I have crit hit damage on it instead. The grip has crit hit damage, reload speed, optimal range, a lot of vent break, crit hit damage, crit hit chance, and headshot damage. And you guys already know the pro has crit hit damage, headshot damage, and crit chance. Make sure all the mods on these are all crit hit damage and crit chance. That's what makes this build what it is. The talents I'm using are Vicious, Deadly, Fierce, and Responsive. The other version of this I've been tweaking around with, you could use something like Unforgiving instead, which I think would work a little bit more than Fierce. Um, or you could swap out Vicious and put Unforgiving instead, so you could have Responsive, Deadly, Unforgiving, and Fierce. So that'd be a really good combo to use as well, but that's just what I have temporarily. Um, I do have one with Unforgiving, but I just have not thrown it on this build yet, and this is what I've been using at the moment to hit those high crits. The secondary I'm using is the same thing basically, same lightweight, only has no mods on it except an extended mag. Uh, I don't use this gun at all. As you can see it has the same talents on it, but I just don't use it. I'll go right into it. The chest piece has EDR, 16,000 health, and 56% ammo capacity, and stamina. The mods on these are two health mods, one's for firearms and one is for stamina. Mass is rolled for crit chance, firearms damage to elites, with a health mod that has 3,000 health. Knee pads are rolled for crit damage, stamina, damage to leech, destroying resistance, and shock resistance. If you could get bleed, shock, and burn, that's what you want on these. The mods are a stamina health mod and a pulse crit hit chance mod. Backpack is a ninja bag. Uh, the firearms on this is really low. I still not optimize the firearms on this because I have no div tech. Crit hit damage and burn resistance. The mods on these are a stamina crit hit chance mod and two pulse crit hit chance mods. Savage gloves, which are very important with this build. The crit hit chance increased by 7% to targets out of cover, assault rifle damage, crit hit chance, and crit hit damage, and a striker holster. You guys are probably running, wondering why there's a striker holster. As you guys can see, in set bonus 2, you get 20% stability. And if you go over to the character sheet, you guys will see I have 29% crit chance. Um, for some reason, that's not right. Let me check. Sorry about that. Now you can see I have 35% crit chance and 133 damage with this AR. Headshot damage is 85, uh, or 87%, and stability is 20 uh, if you want to have a little bit higher stability, you could roll stability on your backpack, but 20% stability with Alpha Bridge is pretty decent. You could run the talent stable to get the 10%, but that's only on lower tier weapons, so I would not um, recommend doing that. I would just go with the 20% or flip a mod around to get 30 if you really want that stability. Um, I'll go into a few other things on here. The skill haste is zero. As you guys can see, there's no skill haste. The toughness is 476,000. The max health is 319,000, almost 320. If you want to get this up higher, I recommend running um, health on your holster and running health on the knee pads just to get rid of the crit damage so you can survive a little bit longer. But so far, I've had no problems with this build and it hits really hard. Um, one thing I will note is that you guys do see it has 35% crit damage, but that's not the case counting Savage Gloves because you're getting the 7% from Savage Gloves. So that's about 42% crit chance, I think. If I did the math correctly, I'm just kind of winging it at the moment. Um, but you're hitting over 40% crit chance and 133 damage, so that's pretty damn good with ARs. Uh, face tanking on this build does work a little bit if you can hit your opponent with all your damage and not miss, but that's where the unforgiving I think should be replaced instead of vicious. That way you can have, um, you know, your health when it goes down, you can just shred through someone when you hit that 25% proc. The stability on this is pretty damn good. I'm going to show you guys some gameplay with it and me fighting people in skirmish. Um, I think that's really about it. There's nothing else, you know, crazy about this build. I will show you guys the abilities. You guys are probably wondering. The pulse I use is a 15% crit chance pulse for conceal. That also gives you extra um, crit chance as well, so you could even hit people even harder. Booster for the um, buffer damage. You could run an immune station if you're in the DZ or in skirmish if someone's using Pred, so that's an alternative if you want to use that. The talents on this build, I'm using our adrenaline. Medkits now give 7 seconds of immunity from status effects. Critical save, using a med kit during low health increases damage resilience, um, resistance by 20% for 10 seconds. 
combat medic, use a combat um, med or use a med kit near allies to heal your group members and proxies within 20 meters. I think this is a must for all builds. I'm just gonna say this now. If you do not run this, you should. That way you can heal your teammates in the middle of combat and they can also heal you as well. The last one is strike back, reach low health, low health to reduce active skill cooldowns by 20%. So when you're almost dead, um, I don't think this really works anymore because, or it's, I don't think it's that great anymore unless you have um, high fire or high electronics that way you can hit your booster or your overheal to like for example would be um, the overdose. Say you hit your overdose and you're using high tactician electronics build, you can get your health back instantly, but I do not think this really works with this build. Um, I would switch this out with, where is it? I cannot find it. Sorry. Precision. Headshots to a hostile pulses them for 10 seconds. I would switch out that for precision if you guys want to hit higher crits because it pulses them for 10 seconds. Um, that's really about it guys. I hope this video helped. That is my stability AR build slash uh, alpha bridge stability build, I guess you could say, for 1.8.3. I'm going to show you guys a little bit of gameplay I got from using this. I haven't gotten a whole lot of gameplay, but I will show you guys the gameplay I have right now.